Hello friend! Welcome to day 170 of Shakuhachi practice. If you don't already know me, my name is Andy and I have decided to do 365 days of practicing my Shakuhachi flute. If you've seen my other videos in the, in the practice so far, you know that I like starting off by pulling a card from the Enchanted Map Oracle deck first. Also, last video I mentioned being away in the next video, but we have one more. This is our last video in the cabin for the next few days because we are going on a road trip to McCarthy, Alaska. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shuffle the cards and I'm going to ask to receive the message that is best for my friend and I to meditate on today. If you have something of your own that you'd like to think of that you would like this card to pertain to, think about it now. Send those vibes out there. A little bit more. Almost there. Okay. I'm feeling one more shuffle. I got shuffle good today. I can feel it. Okay. Hmm, right in the front today. Follow the leader in the reverse position. This one's cute. The little fairy and ducks and creatures. Okay. Let us read this message. The number is 40. Every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you. Reversed, the follow the leader card offers a gentle push to get up and take the lead. In a relationship or partnership, be the one to voice what must be said. Muster your courage and speak your needs aloud. Affirm what you like and what you feel. Do not just hope for someone else to fix the problems you see. If your inquiry is about a career project, you must take the initiative to draw up a proper plan. And if it's about a personal relationship, you must be clear about your intentions and desires. Boldly begin a discussion about how things really are and how to make the situation work for the highest good of all. Do this as soon as possible. You may be pleasantly surprised by the results. Oh, that's good. Definitely something good to keep in mind. I also had a thought that I wanted to share with you. So typically, when I read one of these messages, I kind of like rack through my brain to see what I can apply it to today or tomorrow kind of thing. But... The whole point is to ask for the message to meditate on, not asking for the message to um, interpret into my life, necessarily. So what I would like to start doing, you can do this or not, it doesn't matter, um, but what I am going to start doing, instead of reading this message and thinking what aspect of my life is this pertaining to and what can I take from it, I'm going to just meditate on it. I am going to listen to the message and I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to think of a time when I have done this, whatever the message is talking about, a time when I found this to be true in my life and meditate on the feeling in my body that I felt and this, you know, and the feelings in my emotions that I felt so that way when I come across it again, I'm kind of more acquainted with it. I have more of an eye for it. This is kind of like learning the communication between like my mind and my body, right? Okay, so that's what I'm doing. But what I'm doing now is some shakuhachi. We'll do that next. Okay, cheers to you. Here we go.
Okay, there's my practice for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you so much. Leave a like. No, leave a comment if you had any thoughts or feelings that came up during this message. And hit the like button if you liked the video. Thank you so much for being here. We will do it again tomorrow. Bye for now.